Hi everybody, welcome to my first ever video post. This is so exciting. I uh, wanted to write a post about a giving project my family has been involved in and it was a lot of information so I thought what better platform to do it than a video. So here we have it. Uh, I really think giving is important and it's something that I want to instill in my kids and it's something I do regularly, volunteer work or giving you know money to those changed things that the boys love watching it go down. You know, there's a lot of different options out there. And towards the end of the year, I like to do a bigger project. Toys for Tots, Adoptive Family, something like that. Uh, this opportunity came to me from my local MOPS group. And it's something that I think is really cool. And so I thought it would be fun to share it with everybody and, you know, give you guys some ideas on what to do for it. So here it is. It's called Operation Christmas Child. And what it is is a shoebox that a sponsor fills for a child, boy or girl, you choose, ages uh, 2 to 14. And this organization distributes them around the world to all kinds of different countries where children are in need. And so when I went online, I noticed there were a lot of posts about the younger kids. So we chose to do a boy and a girl, both 10 to 14 years in age. And I thought it'd be fun to kind of show you what we put in it. So why I chose to do this was when I looked at the needs list and saw the basic things that they were looking for, I was blown away. And one of the first things that they recommend is personal care items. And that can be a bar of soap or a toothbrush. Uh, not toothpaste because I guess it melts, but they're going to find a way to distribute that. I also did Kleenex. And uh, my sons picked out these cute little barrettes to go in there for the girl. What I'm going to do is take one of these... Uh, makeup bags that I have. Now you get those for like gifts with purchase or if you have Ipsy, you know you have a thousand of them sitting around. And I'm going to go ahead and stuff them all in this bag and put them in there for her. The other thing that they asked for was school supplies. And this is like such an easy thing to do, especially this time of year because a lot of them are on sale and they're out. I grabbed a set of pencils and a sharpener, some index cards, and a solar-powered calculator because batteries are not readily available. Now, they also have a category called a wow item, and one of the things that I found for that uh, was this nifty backpack. I got it at five below for three dollars. It's one of these cool zip tie ones, and it also um, folds up really nice, and it's weatherproof, and it's lightweight, so it's really easy to push into your box. One thing uh, they also recommended was plastic containers. Uh, you know, Tupperware, water bottles, plastic bowls and plates, silverware, you know, that's all things that you can get really cheap and easy that these kids really need. And what we're going to do is take some um, food items and put them in there. I believe 2016 is the last year to do it. You can't do chocolate because it melts and they recommend no gummies. I'm probably because it melts. I don't really know, to be honest. Um, I saw this really cool tip since Halloween is right now, and there are so many pieces of candy given to our kids to purge some of their stash and find some hard items that they can um, give, share with a friend. And that's really easy to do. So we're going to go ahead and put those in the water bottle. I also chose to do peanuts. It's one of my friend, uh, my son's favorite things. And uh, they asked for the expiration date to be uh, not before June of 2017, so it's not perishable. The other category that they say is a wow item. Now, that can be a toy, a t-shirt, a pair of sandals, whatever. I'm the kind of person that I'm going to wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning going, oh, no, I hope my girl, you know, can fit into those size 6 sandals. So I chose to do some more, like, fun things that represent our family. Uh, the first item is this pack of cards that my husband chose to include because he loves playing games. I wanted to do something more crafty because that's one of my passions. So I found this cute little, you know, paint a sun catcher for just a dollar. And my sons and I went and picked out these super fun colored threads to make a friendship bracelet kit. And we included some instructions on a new knot. One cute little fun thing I decided to add was this Santa pin because it is the season, right? Finally, they suggest writing a letter to your person, letting them know who you are in a picture and that kind of fun stuff. We also included our address in case our friend wanted to write us back. Fun, right? Now, finally, the last step is to decorate your box. I have not finished doing this yet, but my boys made this cute little card for them. I've seen a lot of really cool ideas about pictures and games and things you can put in the box um, as part of the box, so think outside the box to decorate your box. 
Now, when you're done, you either include a $7 check or print out your mailing label. And you just drop it off at one of your local organizations and they'll take care of it for you. There's a lot of reasons to give and a lot of the reasons are wonderful ones. And here are some of why I chose to do this project. First, the timing. Timing is everything, right? I don't know about you guys, but I call it the Christmas marathon because we have so many things going on. And this is happening now. So you can go ahead and do your fun things and get your giving back together, but get it done and get it in before that early November deadline. They're collecting over the next two weeks. The second thing that I um, found really cool about this was you can, like I said, write that check for $7 to mail it, or you can go online and purchase your mailing label and you can watch it track it and watch it get distributed to wherever it's going. And I think that's so cool. Uh, most importantly, I chose to do this because I wanted to get my kids involved. And they're only one and two, but they had fun picking out stuff. And they love the idea of sharing with somebody else that's in need. So this is, again, Operation Christmas Child. And uh, I'll be posting the link and having more information available. And uh, if you have any more questions or comments, please post them or share them, and I will get back to you. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Tis the season to be giving.